Hey guys, it's Sam and Rachel back again with another Talk Back with the Blind Life. This is the March episode. Mar excuse me, April episode <laughs> looking at March videos, yeah, reviewing March videos. It's currently the very beginning of April. Yes. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, any kind of housekeeping? We've got a really cool announcement a little bit later. We'll do. We'll go through our comments first, and then a big announcement at the end of the video. So stick around for that. You guys are going to be interested in this. Uh, but anything else? Um, if anyone was thinking about going to the Foundation Fighting Blindness National Meeting, or I don't, what, what is it called? Yeah, it's their conference. It's the Visions Conference. They have it every two years. Um, from what I understand, Foundation Fighting Blindness, it's down in Orlando at the, what hotel was it? It was not one that I, it's, it's one of the Disney. I feel like it's a, one of them that's more like a conference and convention yeah. center type thing. I mean, if you look it up, yeah. it, they'll tell you where Check it's out at. the website, Foundation Fighting Blindness. It'll it's be on there. It's in mid-June. Mid yes, June 17th, 18th, I believe, or 18th, 19th, something like that. But anyway. I'm going to be a speaker there um, for the AT panel. There's going to be three of us, I believe, talking about assistive technology. And we're actually going to be there in person. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Looking forward to that. Rachel's going. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. So if you are able, um, come out and see us. It'll be our first trip, just the two of us, in a very long time. Yeah. I'm trying to remember when the last time... When we last took a trip, just the two of us. 1994. <laughs> no, we didn't know each other then, but it has been a long time, Skylar. It was yeah. pretty little, I think. Yeah. So, um, so that'll be fun, too. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Um, and I think that's about it. Uh, Rachel is here. Thank you to everybody who <laughs> asks about Rachel. Um, I'm just a little camera shy. Well, you know, it's, it's easy for me. All I have to do is run a brush through my beard. <laughs> And I'm camera ready. Um, it's it's a little bit less for for ladies. They have to do a lot more. Well, and a lot of times, a like more for we don't um, plan yeah. ahead. A lot of times, this is last minute. Now we did tell ourselves <laughs> we were going to do this, but then we both totally forgot about it. So yeah, yeah. It's usually yeah. It's usually like an oh crap. We need to record a talk back. Yeah. So like I haven't showered. Yeah. Whatever. But it's, it's whatever. Uh, real quick note to all of those who have been asking. Rachel is not single. <laughs> we are married. I'm sorry. Yes, she sounds very cute. I know. <laughs> but she is not single. She is off the market. I'm sorry. And I have been for over two decades now. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, let's get on to it. <laughs> okay, so the first video um, that we are discussing um, is one of my favorites that you've done in a long time, actually. The what about reading sheet music? Yes. Now, before we get to that, there was the talkback video. Um, skip that, the last talkback video. Uh, I didn't really grab any comments from there. Just some nice discussion back and forth in that one. Uh, so, yeah, we're starting with the sheet music. And asking if I were single. Yeah, and asking, <laughs> yes, that was the comment I wanted to address. Um, no, so this video, if you didn't see it, really, really cool video. Um, I highly suggest you, you watch it because I, I was just really impressed. Yeah, a really awesome mom and her son um, in Australia, Melanie, and her son Mitchell, goes by Mitch. Uh, they came up with a way for Mitch, who has Stargarts, to read sheet music and play his instruments. Very talented. Yeah, he yeah. plays several how, instruments. How old is Mitch? Do you know? I don't know. Um, he just did such a good job. He spoke well and, and, and yeah, just... Yeah, 14 maybe, something like that. Yeah, mom, you should be really proud of him. Yeah, and it was, uh, a lot of people thought that as well, judging by the comments. Yeah. So yeah. definitely check that out if you're a musician, watch that video. Okay, so Kathy T said, thank you so much for this. You have no idea how timely this topic is for me. Trying to play my cello again and having so much trouble seeing the music. I'm going to try the solution. Thanks, Sam, Mitchell, and Melanie. Yes. And Mr. Magoo said, this is game-changing greatness for me. Thank you so much. Which I think that was really the majority of the, <laughs> the comments. It was. were just like, oh my gosh, thank you. This is awesome. Yes, all so, very positive comments. Yeah, so I... Um, I'm just, I'm really glad that I actually stumbled upon a post that um, Melanie had made in a Facebook group. Um, she had uh, 
done a post with a really quick video and I was like, Sam, you need, yeah. you need to reach out to them because, because I know how many times people have asked you about solutions for reading sheet music and mm -hmm. we never really had a great answer for them. So I think this is the best, you know, is it perfect? Probably not for everybody, but I think it's a really great solution. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any more comments from that video? No. So a couple things really quickly, other people mentioned in the comments. Um, number one is it, it, unfortunately the app for score is only available for iOS. It's not available for Android. There may be something similar out there for Android. I'm not, I'm not familiar with, I'm not aware of it. Um, also, some people were asking what the stand, uh, Mitchell was using a special stand for his iPad, like at the piano, and um, when he was standing there playing saxophone. Um, so, Melanie answers that in the, in the video. Sorry, Willow. <laughs> Melanie answers that in the comments of the video. She was really awesome being active and answering questions and stuff like that. So if you want that information, it's in there somewhere. Um, someone else asked if that was, if they were using it on a television. And no, that was Mitchell's iPad. He has one of the large 12 inch iPads, uh, but you totally could probably live or not um, air, uh, what's it called? Air, what's, what's it called on iOS? Air, not AirDrop, but uh, where you stream, you mirror the screen onto AirPlay. Uh, you could probably do that from your iPad or your iPhone onto a smart TV, and then you would have it even bigger. So that's something to consider as well. Yeah. Not for piano, obviously, but for... <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant. Oh, the other thing, finally, um, is there is a program, a lot of people were asking about anything for Totally Blind. There is a program called Dancing Dots. Um, it's been around for years and years and years. I've done it. They have a, they have a, a solution for Braille users and low vision for reading sheet music. Um, I've done a video on both. So if you put in dancing dots into YouTube or Google, um, check that out. That might be a solution for you. It's, it's a similar, <clears throat> excuse me, the low vision version of it is similar to what Melanie and Mitchell came up with. Um, but it's an actual program and, and, you know, much more expensive and stuff like that. But that's another it's option. An option out there. Yeah. And completely unrelated, but if anyone notices in the video that Sam has kind of a crease in his beard, that's, that's the masks. Yeah. Having to wear a mask does that and it's really hard to like undo it. Yeah. It, it really messes up the, the, the beard every day. <laughs> so if you notice that, that's what it is. Woe is me. <laughs> First world problems for yeah. sure. Um, okay, the next one was great magnifier, but not what it claims to be. <laughs> yeah. Um, Funk Spina said, why does the company still insist on listing it as a 10X magnifier? It doesn't say much for their credibility. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you know. And maybe they haven't gotten complaints about it either because, you know, if you're not like really low vision, you're probably not that well versed in what is 10x versus what is 3x or whatever. Because I actually, after watching your video, I went and looked at the link just to see if maybe they had changed it. I didn't know if they'd seen your video yet or whatever. They hadn't. Um, but I also then looked at the reviews to see if anyone could complain. And all the reviews that I saw were actually really good reviews and um, no one mentioned it. But I hmm. wonder if those people are just, you know, they were just wanting a magnifier for something and, yeah. and not like really, really, like maybe just have a little age related vision loss, but nothing like for yeah. real serious, like, you know. Yeah. And and like I said in the video, it's, it's a pretty nice magnifier. I was impressed with that. Um, but you're probably right. They just don't realize that it's not 10 X and they don't know really what that means. Uh, yeah. uh, but they have seen the video. Um, oh, they have? Yeah, I've, okay. I've corresponded with the, the representative and uh, they were even answering some comments in the in the in the comments section oh, okay. of the video. So they have seen it, um, but I don't know. I don't have any control over it, so I've done what I could, what I can. Okay, so next were the sleep headphones. Yeah, also from the same company. Oh, is that the same company? Yeah, they, oh, they okay. sent them out both. Okay. Um, Rizzy Ramon said, I've always listened to audiobooks to go to sleep, and when I got the sweatband type version of this, I it was a game changer. So much more comfortable than earbuds. I wanted to see how many times I could put in a comment that said game changer in this video. We've got twice now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I love, I, I, I think they're great. And, and as I said in the video, there's hundreds of different versions of sleep headphones. Mine is a sleep mask also. Um, I think the next comment mentions just having head, uh, a headband. Yeah, Bo Green says he's been using them for years. Bluetooth has made them so much better. And looking back, I'm surprised the ones with the cords didn't strangle me in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I actually prefer the ones that are more of a headband than an eye mask. I think they sleep cooler, and if you need to get up, you don't have to take them off. I keep my bedroom really dark, though. Yeah, I, I don't think I could do the, the eye version either. Yeah, yeah. I think I would get too hot. But the next comment I threw in because it brings up a good point. Um, Faith Shelton says, I have a pair like that, and I love it. I def can't sleep. I definitely can't sleep if I hear constant sounds, and I love it blocks out the light. I'm extremely light sensitive, so now my hubby doesn't wake me up when he gets up, gets ready for work in the morning. I now can't sleep without it. <laughs> I love listening to true crime, true crime shows on YouTube. Hey, you're my girl. <laughs> I love true crime. I listen to true crime podcasts most nights falling to sleep. She does. And then the next day when I get ready to turn it on, then I have to rewind it. Like, not rewind. That's aging me quite a bit. But I have to back <laughs> up because I fell asleep and missed, you know, 15 minutes of it or whatever. So I have to back it up so I can start back again. Surely there's a podcast player that, uh, like my, I have a, I have an audio book player that after a certain time, it will only play for like, um, 10 minutes or whatever. And then it will start to a little alarm will sound. And if you don't shake the phone, then it will shut off because it, it's like, yeah, well, but I don't want the alarm to wake me up. I know, but surely there's, maybe there's gotta be something. I mean, I, I set a timer. I could probably set the timer for less time than I usually set it for 45 minutes now. But it, it auto shuts off. It auto time. shuts off oh. after that timer, yeah. So it's not like it's going on and on and on. I mean, if I forget to do the timer, you yeah. you walked in like hours after I went to bed and it's yeah. still playing. That's um, happened before, but. And usually I have to try and find it in the bed <laughs> sheets somewhere. <laughs> I've been trying to be better about putting it up on my nightstand. I, the reason why I do that is because I'm trying not to have it turned up too loud so that it doesn't bother you. So I have it down really, really low, but then I have it on the bed, like right next to my ear. Yeah. But Faith brings up a good point of, you know, yeah, the, someone gets to take flips on the light for the bathroom or something like that in the, in the room. Yeah. If you're not the first one that gets up in the morning or, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Next was the field and bag for the blind. Um, and this always Heidi said, I love how cool this backpack and accessories looks as well as a cane holder, which is freaking awesome. I also like how this company thought about those different disabilities. Thanks for the vid. Um, Johnny Yen said, hi, Sam. I just tried to look at their website that says it's still under construction. You've done a great review of the backpacks though. Well done. Yeah. So I, um, <laughs> when I was gathering these comments, I, I checked their website. It's fieldumlife.com. And it's up and running. It, it, it seemed to work fine for me. I didn't have any issues. I even went directly to the backpack page and that was working fine as well. So I don't know if maybe... Um, they had a momentary issue or maybe, yeah. the, maybe he got the website typed in incorrectly. Yeah, because I, I also know that some people said mentioned that the credit card payment option wasn't working. Um, but I've also spoken with the rep there and they've said that they are looking into that. It's supposed to be working. Um, in fact, the Fieldum team were very active in the comments, answering questions. That was really awesome. Um, so I, I appreciate that from them. With the best username ever. Yeah. <laughs> kitty story time or something soft, like that. Soft, soft, soft kitty story time. Soft kitty story time. Right? Wasn't that it? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Uh, so if you got a response from, from that person, that's field them. Yeah. Um, the other thing is they said they do ship internationally. Um, there's no restrictions on shipping. I know someone in Canada was wondering if they would ship to them. They do. They, sh they ship everywhere. Um, and finally, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Okay. If there's any more comments. Yeah, there are. There's a couple more. The next one is from the blind monkey. And says uh, it would work well for pe the blind here in SA, which I'm, is that? South, South Africa. A oh, okay. South Africa. I was thinking like South Asia or something. Um, since it would free up our hands when walking home from a shop. I'm assuming South Africa. That's what I figured it was. But yeah. I don't, I don't know. It could be. Yeah. More than one thing. 
Um, and then MM said, so cool. Is there a grab handle on top that would help with hanging on a hook or grabbing from car, carrying on the plane, etc.? Do you know if there, yes. there yeah. is on both sizes? Yeah, and I, I totally should have had one of the bags here to show you. Um, yes, it has, a, it has a handle on top, and I'm sure if you, um, in, in the video, I, I do a couple spinning pan, um, spinning shots of the bag. You should be able to see it there. Um, it does have a, a handle. If your vision allows you to see it. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Um, do you know if it will fit a Focus 40 Braille display? That I'm not sure. The, um, so these are pretty large. The capacity is pretty big. Like I, the medium one, um, I had in my tripod, which it's a folding tr uh, travel tripod, but it's still pretty large. What do you think that is? Foot, uh, foot and a half? Yeah, probably about. Um, so, uh, and it fits in there standing up without any problems. Um, it's pretty good size. I would say yes, it, it would have to, I would feel very confident that it would fit pretty much anything you would need. Yeah, I mean, if you if if it's something important to you, they probably have the dimensions on they the do. website. Yeah, so yeah. you know you could measure the braille display and then and compare even, it and see. Yeah, even Soft Kitty uh, <laughs> had the dimensions in the uh, in in some of the answers on the comments. She, oh, okay. she, she included those, but yes, it would be. <laughs> so that was a big Soft Kitty, right? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Was it from Friends, Soft Kitty, Something Kitty, da 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 Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, sorry. Um, and then Shirley uh, De, De Roger, or I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, says, Hi, they look cool. The pricing sit up and it's really expensive. Yeah, so that's, you know, <clears throat> I, I mentioned that in the video that these were not going to be cheap bags uh, because they're handmade. And something else um, that I'll mention is that... Uh, in the video, I said they've got a three-year warranty. Well, they've actually extended that to five years. So for five years, if you have anything go wrong with it as far as, you know, strap falls Workmanship off or, or yeah, they will replace that. They will, they will fix it or replace it. Um, so this is not, you know, this is like a purse that you buy at Target versus a, I don't know, I don't know purses. I, that was a bad Co analogy. Coach or something. Coach or Gucci, right? Is that a big purse? I don't, I don't like purse, purse, purse either. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, it's an investment. Yeah. It's not, yeah. it's not like just buying the, you know, your backpack for school that you're going to use one year and, yeah. and pitch. This is something that's really well made and it's going to last a long time. So, um, and it's it's a specialty niche niche, so um it just costs more unfortunately. Um, and that was one thing that someone brought up on Twitter actually. They said, you know, they didn't understand why the blind needed a special backpack made just for them. And we don't obviously. I mean, nobody needs a special backpack made just for them. If you think about it, really, I mean, we could all get by with just generic bags. Um, but the the company field them and i kind of talked about this a little bit in the video and, and the the history of the the company and i really encourage people to dive into the frequently asked questions section of the website um really really cool information you get there and learning more about the the, the history of it and how it was founded and um, all of this julia kim uh it started out as the, the bags were made for wheelchairs and that's partly why mainly why it's kind of a block shape because it fits in the back of a wheelchair right behind the, the person um, and you know so they adapted that design uh, for the blind the performance block the point is that we, you don't have to have one but this one was made for the blind so yeah just like you don't have to have a special backpack for your camera equipment but one that's made for camera equipment sure does work a lot better yeah yeah um, you, you, one thing I, I wonder and i don't know if you know the answer to this or if it's something you might want to bring up with her is i bet if they sold just that cane part with you know a clip or something that could be clipped onto any backpack i bet they'd sell a lot of them Possibly. I mean, it does have a, it comes with a clip. Oh, does it? I yeah. can't remember if it was just Velcro or if it had a clip. Yeah, also. Velcro and clip. So th that maybe they do. I don't know. They have an accessories section, and yeah. so maybe they do. But yeah. I, I, just, I think that alone it would be really valuable to some people that maybe don't 
necessarily if, if they don't see the value in the the full backpack just mm -hmm. just that accessory alone would probably be yeah useful to some people so if you're it was that the last comment for yes okay yeah so if you're interested in the bag um and also talking about price and then also speaking of the cost don't forget that throughout the month of april you can use the discount code located in the in the description of the video to get 20% off uh, one of the bags, field and bags, the performance block bags. So um, definitely take advantage of that if you are interested in picking one up. Now, the big announcement. Thank you guys for sticking around, uh, those of you that did. <laughs> so in about two weeks, a um, little less than two weeks, we are going to be doing a live stream and we are going to be giving away bam the large performance block backpack so what do you have to do to win the bag uh very easy leave a comment on this video this video the talkback video letting me know that you would like to win it and uh during the live stream in a couple of weeks we will pick randomly pick one of those comments from this video to win the bag. And finally, we are doing a ship anywhere contest. If it doesn't matter where you live, I will send this bag to you. So it's pretty awesome. Um, also really cool is my sister will be here for that live stream. She's coming, she and her family are coming to visit. And so she will be joining me for that giveaway. So yeah. So that live stream will will fall sometime the weekend of April twenty second. Well, we don't we don't know exactly what day yet, but sometime during that. Yeah, and I'll announce it. I'll put it in a community post and and put it out on Twitter and all of that um, once we decide. So make sure uh, the easiest way would be to you know check in on the live stream. We will also respond to if you win. We will respond to your comment on this post, but make sure that you. Have it to where you get notifications if someone replies to a comment or something like that so that you know. Because if you, you know, I don't know, you'll probably give people, what, three days or something to re get sent, shoot you an email with their address. and. Yeah, yeah. And we'll talk about that during the live stream. Um, so, yeah, if you are interested in this, obviously, you're going to need to watch the live stream. You don't have to watch it live. Uh, you can watch it later. But, um, yeah, we'll give you a couple days to respond. And we'll probably pick like three names just in case the first person doesn't respond uh, in time. And uh, yes, I did just confirm it does have a handle at the top for hanging it on a hook. <laughs> and you guys can see, uh, probably see next to me, I've got a large head and this thing is still much larger than my head. So And, I, and I, think, I think turn it sideways because I think that's where it's really, you see how large it is, how far it sticks off of your back. Yeah, is really the the direction that is I feel like the the largest. So and yeah, and it has two compartments, but you can take out that middle divider to make one giant compartment. So pretty exciting! Huge thank you to Fieldum for sponsoring this giveaway with this bag. And we are going to try to do more giveaways, and I think we might do more of the giveaways this way. In the past, we've tried to do giveaways during the lives, and it's really difficult to figure out a fair way to figure yeah. out who is going to get it. So we might try to do giveaways more often during the talkbacks. Yeah. In fact, we already have something to give away next talkback. You already have two other things, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So uh, I think that's about it. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the comments. I love it. Um, and stay tuned for that live stream. Oh, also, if you are a member of the Blind, the Blind Life YouTube channel, we are doing a Zoom call next weekend. What day is that? Saturday the... Saturday the 9th. Saturday the 9th at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you are a member, members only. If you would like to become a member, then you just need to click the little join button that's underneath this video window. Um, it's also on my YouTube channel, 
a little blue button that says join. It's right next to the subscribe button. And there's a couple different levels and the least expensive level is only 99 cents a month. That's the cheapest YouTube allows you to set it. So. Yeah, and, and everybody who is a member gets to join in on that Zoom call. Um, so definitely do that. But more information about that coming out in a community post. Uh, so that's it, and check out the merch on, on, in the description of the videos as well, and on the Blind Life website, theblindlife.net. That's it guys, thank you very much, thank you to my, my lovely co-host, Mrs. <laughs> Samuel Seavey. <laughs> I'm not Mrs. Samuel Seavey, I have my own name, thank you very Mrs. much. Mrs. Rachel Seavey. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Bye. <laughs>